Klinefelter's syndrome is the commonest chromosomal disorder in males. It affects about one in every 550 men. What it involves is the fact that there's an additional X chromosome. So rather than having the normal 46 XY pattern, these guys have a 47 XXY pattern. Now, the extra X chromosome has many effects on the body, particularly on the testes. They don't develop normally at puberty, they don't make enough testosterone as one gets older, and they often don't make any sperm. But there's also other effects, such as often increased learning difficulties and sometimes behavioural difficulties as a child and adolescent. What's most remarkable is that only three out of 10 guys are diagnosed in their entire life. So if you or someone near to you has been diagnosed with Klinefelter syndrome, I'd like to make a couple of points. Firstly, that it's quite a wide range of features in Klinefelter's guys. Some have major learning difficulties and some don't. What they all have in common are very small testes, a need for testosterone replacement. Now when it comes to testosterone treatment, this can be given by daily uh, gels on the skin or by injections every few months. And what one sees with this treatment, which ideally would begin in adolescence, is full masculinization. What that fancy word means is development of muscle strength, uh, body hair, um, less fat on the abdomen, stronger bones, and often a more uh, positive and energetic sort of behavior. So there's great benefits from that. Unfortunately, it doesn't make the testicles grow. The testicles remain small forever in Kleinfelder's guys. You'll see in the graphic the size of a Kleinfelder's gentleman's testicle compared to normal. It's about a tenth the normal size. It's very small. It's remarkable that the guys don't notice it themselves or that their doctor has never examined them or noticed it. Clearly, they're not getting that aspect of care. And often I see them now coming with infertility at the age of 32. And I'm the first person to examine them and the first person to find the small testicles and make the diagnosis. If fertility is something that's very important to the guy, there is also reason for some optimism. Because in about a third of men with Kleinfelder syndrome, you can find a few sperm in the testicle at an operation. And they can be used to father normal children. So I think the important thing is that with the diagnosis of Kleinfelder syndrome comes the recognition that that's what's affected you and your life. You might reflect back on what you did at school and wondering why you weren't as fast a runner as you thought you might have been. That can help explain it. And going forward, uh, knowing that you can get help for your quality of life and maybe even for fertility. So I think there's reason to be happy you're one of the few that are actually picked up.